Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall On Point Reviews all day every day. We're back with a zoologist. Yes, zoologist guys. You know, this uh, zoologist uh, fragrances, I keep reviewing them because I admire the tenacity, the bravery that the perfumers have. The owner, Victor, and uh, uh, Prim, the uh, perfumer. Just the tenacity and bravery of bringing out perfumes to the general public where you are talking about animals and you are making perfumes that basically embody those animals or the spirit of those animals. Huh? That's really brave, you know, because... You know, a lot of companies could have just, you know, done the uh, appealing ones or just appeal to the general public. You will immediately smell good. But this I consider as art. And uh, that's why I like reviewing zoologists, you know, forget the haters. So today we're going to review one of their 2020 releases. This is Zoologist Sloth. This is Sloth. Sloth is basically a lazy animal. It's a lazy, lazy animal. I heard that if a sloth falls on the ground, it's defenseless. It can't do nothing. It's so lazy that it can't even really move. Makes me wonder if you can actually catch a sloth, right? Like, just walk up and grab it, you know, because it's kind of cute. So today we're going to talk about a uh, zoologist sloth. Let's give it a spray right now for good times, especially in these times. Oh, yeah. See, I've been wearing this. See, look at this. I have been wearing this. So let's talk about the fragrance, guys. This one opens with a nice berry shot of acai berry. Maybe you love acai berry. It's one of the things that you, you guys drink. You know, it's in your shakes or something. But acai berry, actually, I absolutely love. There is a shot of acai berry that you can smell immediately. Yeah, it's it's up there, and it actually is a quite appealing uh, first note that eventually is blanketed by another really appealing note, which is chamomile. Which is you know basically if you love chamomile tea like me, this is something that you know you you're used to. Uh, the tea will basically envelope this berry, and it is quite nice. To me, the chamomile is the most dominant note. Okay that I think until the end, it's going to be there, okay? And I think that the tea note uh, combined with uh, the acai berries, as well as, you know, it's combined with another really relaxing, uh, calming note to me, lavender. When you mix the lavender, the chamomile, and the acai berry, I think that this is lovely for the wearer, okay? Because this is the opening, you know what I mean? Like when you spray it, yes, other people around you will love it, but you will be in a good mood, a calm mood uh, when you have the lavender chamomile acai berry, okay? Maybe this is a stress reliever, you know? If you're having a stressful day, okay? Like sometimes I have stressful days, like when I'm preparing for something and I got to really get ready for it and let's say you're cramming you know uh you get stressed out and this one i think is also a stress reliever in terms of the combination of the opening really really quite nice now you're probably wondering like troy so where's the zoologist part where's the where's the zoo part where's the animal part that we expect well actually you know there is after that like probably within like five you know, five, ten minutes, you will smell something like a uh, damp rainforest-like smell. Uh, the forestry, uh, foresty type smell starts coming in, okay? And I'm thinking it's probably spikenard that's in this. Um, and uh, apparently spikenard is actually used as an herbal medicine, okay? It's also for calming and soothing, you know? So you see, man, it's like it's the same type notes uh, in, t in terms of what they do. And uh, the spikenard is described as a woody, earthy, musky, aromatic uh, note. There is anise in here which provides a lingering licorice type smell in the background. And every now and then you're going to get a whiff of beeswax, which is, to me, it's there. But guys, don't take it, you know, when you read the notes, you're like, oh my god, there's, there's, there's beeswax. There's like some sort of honey note. No, it's, it's kind of like a supporting player in this, okay? Now there is cumin which provides a little dash of funk to the fragrance. And I think the most interesting, shocking note for me here is the mushroom. Mushroom, guys. 
uh, but I think that the mushroom is just like an added scent to the whole forest vibe to make it feel like realistic or something. You know, maybe it's the vegetation. Maybe there's mushrooms on the ground in this forest. A lot of, lot of fungi uh, in the forest. So maybe that is the type of forest that we're talking about here. But there is mushroom here. Now, the dry down here is pretty nice with some low-key frankincense and myrrh. That one's nice to me. The frankincense mirror combination isn't strong. It's just nicely on the background. It is uh, also uh, accompanied by very well likable notes like vanilla and tonka bean. And I think that there is uh, a distinct hay uh, note here that mixes well with the oak moss, provides this mossy, somehow woody haystack smell in the dry down, okay? It's just unique, you know? But I I like the dry down. I don't think it's like really crazy good, but it's still a very good likable dry down. Overall, this smells to me like a fougere. I think that if it wasn't branded uh, a zoologist here, like this could basically squeeze in as a, you know, like a, like a tea-infused fougere with some interesting nuances, foresty nuances in between. You know what I'm saying? Like overall, when I wear this, guys, like it reminds me of wearing something like Roja Scandal or Viking. These uh, very, you know, nice, just easy grab fougeres. I think that if I had a full bottle, this would be a grabber because I also love tea. So if you like uh, tea-based perfumes as well, like Winter Palace, uh, I think you might like this one, okay? I like tea in general, so this one's good for me okay uh ultimately i think the type of person that would like to enjoy this or who would enjoy this are hedonists those who want to sip tea you know a nice little warm cup of tea you have a nice lazy day you got this like leather couch and you want to sit on it there's a view outside you're just looking at it doing nothing uh i think that this is something that you uh might want to just spray on yourself indoors you know this is one of those and I feel like this is on the same wavelength as the other 2020 release, which is Koala. They have totally different notes, but I think in terms of the purpose, uh, this is quite the opposite of the other uh, zoologist fragrances like T-Rex, uh, Rhino, where it's like it, the intention is to really disrupt your senses like bat, you know, and introduce you straight into the animal vibes. I think that this one and koala i don't know if that's the intention of the maker uh, the owner but they all give this soothing relaxing vibe more benefit to the wearer to be honest than the people around okay so if that's your deal if you're 100 percent into the lazy days you just want to spray it yourself you want to calm down you want to you don't want to get stressed you want to listen to some bossa nova at the same time this is a chill pill you know it's a chill pill of zoologist fragrances sloth okay so again if you're a chill person and uh, you're introverted you might enjoy this now also i will say this that this can get you compliments why because it still retains the appealing side chamomile uh, berries as well as lavender those are appealing in general so it will guarantee that it's going to get you compliments even if you're an extrovert and you're walking around you're meeting people I think it will. I think that the damp forest-like smell here is very minimal. And I don't think that it overtakes the appealing notes. So that's what I like. I think that this and Koala are made by zoologists to bridge even more to the general public. You know? Because when you research zoologists and, you know, let's, let's say you were in front of all these animals, right? Obviously, the things that are going to get you are the T-Rex you know, all those crazy animals like rhino. And then you'll hear uh, the feedback, which is like, oh, it's too much, it's too animalic, it's too, smells like burned plastic, blah, blah, blah. And it might turn you off on the brand, right? But I think that hopefully reviews like this, um, and when you look up these scents, you know, the new ones, the new 2020 ones, I think are very therapeutic, very relaxing. That's kind of important in these times. Um, and I think are more appealing. OK, uh, because I review them uh, almost like one after the other, like after this, I'll review one of the harsh ones and then I'll go back to the new 2020 ones. So, uh, so far, 2020 Koala and Sloth are pretty appealing and relaxing. OK, and I thought that they performed well, just, you know, moderate, I would say, especially in hot and humid environments. I like how it projected here in this Texas weather. 
Um, but ultimately, like I said, this is the reason why I've been using this. You can see here I've been using this is because, you know, it also gives me that calming effect. You know, it's very nice. You know, it's it's almost like having your own spa in a sense that whole your whole uh, your own spa experience. Uh, but again, also has that fougere qualities that's pretty nice too okay so you know props to victor props to prim for making this uh 2020 release i think it's timely because you know people around the world you know we are all so stressed out with different things in life that we need a chill pill sometimes we need something to chill out and i think this fragrance falls into that category okay if you are looking for that type of fragrance it's definitely worth getting a full bottle of because yeah it, it does what it does. It makes, that is the association with the sloth. The sloth is this lazy, slow animal. And so this one will make you feel slow and relaxed. So I kind of like it. Okay. Now, if you want me to review more zoologists and we would like to request, just comment below. Okay. I have the whole zoo. Thanks to Tan. Thank you, Tan, for the whole zoo, for sending every single animal this way. Thank you, Tan. All right. So definitely comment below if you want to request something. I'll pull it up and I'll try to review it. Okay. So and don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so I can do more zoologists. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you tomorrow probably. Okay. So take care. God bless. I'll see ya. Peace.